Over the years, Manchester United have made some high-profile transfers, whether it was Wayne Rooney, Rio Ferdinand, or recently Alexis Sanchez. However, there's a number of transfers that end up being great signings, but lacked that appreciation. Here's a list of Manchester United's most underrated signings. First up, Dennis Irwin. Whenever you hear millennial Manchester United fans talk about legendary defenders over the years, they naturally mention Vidic and Ferdinand. But some don't remember or forgot or just don't know the heroics of the legendary Irishman Dennis Irwin. Irwin spent over a decade at Manchester United, bombing up and down the touchline and curling free kicks. He signed in 1990 for a mere 625,000 and left in 2002 with 19 trophies under his belt. He made 511 starts under Alex Ferguson, scoring and pressing 33 goals along the way. He was consistent, reliable and very much a true professional, one of the United greats. Next up, Park Ji Sung. It was only towards the end of his illustrious Manchester United career that Park Ji Sung started getting the recognition he truly deserved. Park arrived from PSV for an absolute bargain of 4 million in 2005, but it was a great signing. The South Korean midfielder made 134 Premier League appearances for the club, where he showcased his jack of all trades attitude when he played across various positions. Park could get stuck in, but also supplement attacks and score vital goals. As Arsenal fans, in particular, we remember he used to always save his best performances against us. And it's testimony to his work ethic that Sir Alex Ferguson seemed to trust him more than anyone else in those crunch games, be it a top of the table clash or a Champions League knockout game. Injuries would later creep in, bringing the end to his spell at Manchester United in a rather disappointing manner, but he will always be a legend and have a legendary soul. Teddy Sheridan's career at Old Trafford was a little underwhelming to begin with. Considering he was brought in after United departed company with a certain Eric Cantona, United fans knew Teddy had quality, but could he replace the legend, the king? Well, that was a different question, especially when the Brazilian Ronaldo had just joined Inter Milan for a world record fee of 19.5 million, and to say Man United had just spent 3.5 million on Sheringham, they weren't exactly comparable. However, after a quiet and disappointing first season, Sheringham's life would change forever. A better season overall for Teddy and for Manchester United. We all know what happened on that fateful night in Barcelona. Bayern Munich won, Manchester United nil, injury time approaches, on comes Sheringham. Sheringham will forever go down in United folklore, but it didn't always look the case. He departed Old Trafford a hero, brought in to replace the King, he left making his own mark on the club. He won a lot, including the trophy so Alex really wanted. He scored 46 goals in 153 appearances, and he will always live within United history. Antonio Valencia, there's been many times when people thought his Manchester United career was over. After a few good seasons with Wigan Athletic, he was brought in to replace Cristiano Ronaldo, who just won the Ballon d'Or. Talk about some big shoes to fill. He didn't have a trick in his own locker, nor the ability to do anything with his left foot apart from stand on it. Then came a nasty broken ankle against Rangers in the Champions League, which meant to a long spell on the injury lines. After that, he had low self-esteem and struggled to get his confidence back. But one thing he did have is hard work. He trained hard and he saw off players like Memphis Depay and Angel Di Maria to make sure that he was going to be on that starting lineup. To the extent in which Jose Mourinho eventually said that he's one of the best right backs in the world. He's transitioned seamlessly from a winger to an all-action fullback, and he's now one of Jose's most trusted players and deputy captain of Manchester United. And it's easy to see why. An incredible physical specimen, he's an absolute beast, and he doesn't complain, and he puts in maximum effort. He's now played over 300 games for the club, and he's an effective tackler, as well as a winger who can just keep running and running. Question is, how far can he go for United? Michael Carrick has been an absolute quality player for Manchester United, but the facts remain he is one of the most underrated players of our generation. He's often compared to a Rolls Royce and has five Premier League titles, Champions League and Europa League medal, as well as both domestic cup competition winners medals. Yet there are some who believe he's never been good enough for United. Originally signed to fill the Roy Keane shaped gap in United's midfield, he was instantly disregarded as not good enough. He's always been overshadowed for public claim by bigger players with bigger names. Carrick is the type of player who people know is good, but they just don't realise he's that good. Ferguson knew how good he was when he splashed out 18 million to bring him to the club from Spurs in 2006. 
and he's constantly having to defend this selection at the beginning, but Ferguson knew he started him in every big game and Carrick would do the job. He now deserves his place amongst the United legends and is a club captain. He's in his 11th year with the club. He has made over 450 appearances for the club and will go down as one of Ferguson's best signings in the Premier League despite his unfashionable nature, his lack of flash and his ridiculous underappreciation for the English national team. So that is our list. Let me know your thoughts on the players that have been underrated from your team. I've been Anton Allen. Thanks for watching. Please like and share. I'll speak to you soon. Look how I go, gonna be a dentist, I still got the flow Never gonna lose cause I'm still doing both Never gonna lose cause I've been on the road Come to your state and I'm killing the show Know that I'm young and I still gotta grow Know that I'm working the most, no I'm never gonna choke And I'm looking back down on the people below I've been keeping real, I've been doing